hit go live. I hit the thing and I didn't hit fucking uh, go live or something. And I was like, oh, you didn't put the info in your read. All right, so are we live? Let's see. Live, let's see. And there we go. Live, let's see. We are live. Hold up. Let me just adjust this microphone. Excuse me. I'm a little rusty. I've been away a little too long. <laughs> I know it's hard. It's hard. It's hard, man. It's hard. There we go. That's driving me crazy. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. RGT Podcast, episode 117. Oh, yeah. We got a lot to go over, a lot to talk about. And, uh, yeah, let's go. We definitely got to talk about it. Uh, Cali Rex, what's up, brother? Go ahead and jump in here if you can, as if you can. But we're going to go ahead and break this down. We're going to get into these topics, have some fun. You already know, it's Fridays. We break down all this news when we have a blast, and we just keep it rolling. Good to see everybody in the chat. Missed you all. Hope you guys are safe out here in this crazy world, and hope everybody is at least, you know, just keeping in good health. All right? Um... Uh, do want to get a few announcements out the way, too, but we're going to do the intros first, and then we're going to uh, get into that. So, um, Blaze, our first panel member. <laughs> Blaze, what's up, bro? What up? What up? What up? What up? How's everybody doing? Yo, um, hit the like button, please. Please hit that like button. Helps out so much. Uh, yeah, 117 is going to be a crazy, interesting show. All the I know there's a lot of PC port begging people out there begging for a certain game to come, but we don't <laughs> get into all that. So I hope everybody's being safe. Hope everybody's having them uh, self a good day, and let's get into it. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to Carlos in the chat. He couldn't be here today, but he's in the chat. Glad to say what's up to the brother, RGT Nation, RGT Army. Stand up. Shout out to you guys. So let me uh, <clears throat> announce this real quick. I know they're they're down right now. They can't really announce it themselves. So our good friends over there at the Platform Live, I know you guys know Danny. Um, his internet's actually shut down over there where he's at. And the reason why he's shut down, there was a mishap where someone was shot in his area. And there's a conspiracy, something like that, going on with the uh, in the area. And they shut down their actual uh, service down there. So I just want to just uh, obviously be the first to tell you this. I know a lot of you watch uh, the platform live and you watch here. They're going to be down for quite some time. And I don't know when they're going to be up. Um, Danny can really clarify what's going to happen later. But hopefully things get better. Again, the world right now is in a constant state of just unrest. It's not in any shape or form or where it's safe. You know what I'm saying? Nothing stable. Everything seems to be dropping left and right. And on top of that... Um, more reports keep coming in and everything just keeps dropping. It's just, it's bad, man. It's really, really bad. So I want to say shout out to the platform live, everybody over there. You already know how it is. What's up, uh, Mets? And, uh, big Mike's on his way here from platform. So you want me to Medina. Shout out to Jay Medina. Um, let's see. It's out All right. Mike, bro. But anyway. Let's go ahead and get into this. I know I don't want to drag this out any further. We're going to definitely get into these topics. So, where do we begin, Blaze? Where do we begin? Should we just start with the uh, PS5 reveal that did not uh, necessarily go according to plan? Should we just do that? Yeah. Go right there. Start with yeah, that. Bro. Uh, PS5 reveal. So, Sony's official reveal was, what, three days ago? They were getting ready to do it. They were going to break this down and give us a full leak or a full look. I said leak. A full look into the future well, of too, gaming. Yeah, yeah leak too. But a full look into the future of gaming. The PlayStation 5 event was going to showcase the console's form factor. I do believe this strongly at this current time, especially after what just leaked. I do believe this was going to happen. So, the form factor, I do believe, was going to be there. And the reason why and what adds more fuel to the fire that that was going to be shown was the fact that the ps5's um event was not just on the internet it was actually going to be on uh, broadcast on tv so it was on live tv and they were doing a special kind of like an e3 style old school presentation for this you guys remember when e3 used to be on g4 network Picture that for PS5's reveal, and it was going to be strictly an hour of them breaking down what was in the PlayStation 5 and pretty much the actual form factor, the controller, and you were going to get a look at a few 
um, a, f- a few looks at a few games. And again, I wasn't expecting a huge amount of games here, but they did say they were going to focus heavily on games that had that, that pretty much had gameplay in mind, right? It was going to be strictly focused on games actually running on the system, and that was going to be there. Of course, you guys already know what the state of the world right now. Again, I urge you all to be safe out here. I can't urge you enough, but I really do urge you to be safe out here. What the state of the world they had to actually cancel, or not really cancel, they had to postpone the event. And again, I know a lot of people were, in a, were upset with this. A lot of people, it, it was really, it, it was weird. It was like a weird graph, right? They had like a pie chart. It was like a weird graph. It was like 80% of us. We knew why they postponed this event. We were real. We were being realistic with it, right? And then you had like the 10%, they were trying to push a console war narrative. And then you had the weirdos and the other 10% making ridiculous claims on Twitter, and of course, that ultimately did not end well for those types of individuals. Now, we, me, Blaze, and a few others, we did a stream. Now, last stream, I called out this individual. Again, I know it's a little uncharacteristic of me as a late because I've been more positive, but I couldn't really hold it in. I was upset. This individual, again, uh, I, I'm not going to make this about him, but the dude literally just, I don't know, he just he set up a wrong vibe for me when he with that comment. You know, saying that PlayStation scared pretty much the conspiracy theories. PlayStation scared. They don't have this to show. They can't show this to show. You know, it's like they're not afraid to, of anything. They were ready to showcase the whole shebang. But um, again, <laughs> the results came in. And of course, um, now you have like the site. I think there was an update to the PlayStation site too, where it said that 2020 was removed from like the re- for the reveal or something like that or from um they removed 2020 from ps5 sites and a lot of people were saying oh it's delayed to 2021 there's no delay for the console i just think honestly they just pushed some stuff back because again stuff being postponed and obviously the way the world is right now and i would not be surprised again i would not be surprised if anything if anything does not get better by the time we get into july i would not be surprised if series x or the xbox event gets postponed as well i just wouldn't be at this point i really wouldn't But again, a lot of people look at the glass half full and look at it from a one-sided perspective instead of looking at it from the broader side and look at it for what's really happening outside the world and involving both particular sides here. It's not about a console war thing. It's not about any side being scared or anything. You got to look out your window and you really see the real reason why the world is in the state that it is right now. That's just my honest opinion on it. So... Blaze, I'm going to go to you, bro. Uh, what's your thoughts on this whole thing? PS5 reveal. I know you were hyped as much as I was. We were literally like, yes, finally getting that damn, you know what I'm saying? We're finally getting that damn news. And then we get there um, a day before, like the day before the show is like, oh, it's postponed. What's your thoughts, yeah, bro? I was, uh, I was in Discord and uh, some dude comes in there. Yeah, you know, he PlayStation canceled. I'm like, bro, can you shut up, bro? What's up? What do you want? Yeah, no, no, it really is canceled. I'm like, what? So my first reaction, I ain't going to lie to you, was uh, I was so disappointed at first. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, bullshit, man. Like, you know, because I was just like, can we get something? Can we get a, a fucking inch of positivity? Just something to just take us away for now. But after I calmed down for like, I, I did a stream, a live stream. Uh, and after like, I realized, man, looking at the bigger picture, mm-hmm. it's not that serious, man. And you know what I mean? It's really not that serious when you look at the bigger picture and you look at what's going on. From everything that's happened in 2020, it's just been a horrible, horrible year. And, um, you know, I calmed down a little bit and I looked at the bigger picture and the bigger picture is way more important. And I, I like that a lot of, not just PlayStation, a lot of companies have gone that route. Fortnite canceled their event. Call of mm-hmm. Duty canceled their event. I, you can just keep going down the line. And it yep. just sends a message that, listen, hey, the right people need to be heard right now. Um, and this is a time for change. And uh, let's move forward, on, you know, because... You know, and then and then I also look at it like, you know, I hope a lot of these companies are being sincere and they're not just trying to be clout chasers and trying to say the right thing to get brownie points. You right, know what I mean? Right. So that's I, I get worried about that because a lot of companies will just say, hey, look, we're doing this. You know, we've, we're, we're, we're with you. But, you know, you never know what their true intentions are. They're a business at the end of the day. That's what everybody has to understand. Business. That is true. And it's the bottom line is the business. If Sony were to say reveal this, yeah. they're looking at it like this, like, hey, maybe. Sony gets revealed the PS5 and it gets overshadowed by all the chaos, COVID-19, everything that's going on, the riots, all this shit, you know? And so they're looking at it from a business point of view as well. Like, man, this ain't, we shouldn't even release it because it's going to get overshadowed and it's not the right time. So, um, but you know, 
PS5 is still going to launch. We're still going to get the reveal. So if anybody's really that upset right now, still, like I can understand you being initially upset or being disappointed. That's okay. But yeah. to still be upset now and, and, and uh, making stupid ass remarks, I, you know, I really want to mention your trash ass name, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you're that upset right now, man, you got fucking mental problems, man. Like you really do. Because at the end of the day, uh, it's just where it wasn't the time. And, you know, I, yeah. I'm watching shit on ESPN, man. When I see an ad on ESPN, man, I'm like, holy fuck. You know, like I see it on ESPN, I get hyped. I'm watching Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, you know, arguing about shit. And I see PS5 commercial. I was like, holy shit, this is really happening. So, you know, it, dude, we'll get it, guys. We'll get the PS5 event. It's coming. It's not going anywhere. It's just going to take a little time. That's yeah. It. And uh, about this whole PS5 event, to clarify this, too, again, uh, Sony did say that they're going to be doing... Uh it very 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 soon so again they're just waiting for the the fires to go out at this point but they're going to be they're going to be doing it it's they they promise it's coming soon so again just wait a little bit more patience uh into this and again i don't do i can't think, even Ryan? blame hmm when do you think they'll actually they, i know keep, people keep saying the 12th and 12th you know, yeah i hear i hear people say 12 i'm here report to 12 i the thing about again the thing about these rumors and these reports going around for 12 um sony has not clarified anything at all and again keep in mind we usually when you're at the halfway point or something like that so if they don't announce nothing on the 6th like yeah we're doing it on the 12th then <laughs> it's probably going to be pushed to july i'm gonna be honest with you because <laughs> usually that's what they do they wait for like the halfway point for they announce something of like if that was the case, they they're not announcing it yet. So, right. I, and again, more likely though, more likely they'll probably wait until after Microsoft show. What is Microsoft show? It's July what? So July seventeenth, July sixteenth. Well, I, I don't know. Just it's something. It's something. <laughs> something around that time. July sixteenth, seventeenth for Microsoft's event. They'll probably wait till after Microsoft's event. I would not be surprised, and then probably reevaluate the whole reveal again. Because remember, this is not. This is not uh, pre-taped or pre-recorded, like their deep dive or the... Yeah, but Ryan, if they wait for Microsoft, aren't they worried? Is it because they were scared of the uh, price? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You're going to have the conspiracies come out. <laughs> They're afraid of the console. <laughs> yeah, a company that, again, we, we, we what do we know about PS5? We know PS5 is underpowered at 2 Series X, right? The graphical capabilities, teraflops, whatever you want to go about it. However, if that was the case, they were so far behind and they were so afraid, then why would they go to the links that they were going to go to a couple days ago where it was going to be like an E3-style showcase? You know, that's what they were going for, an E3-style showcase. Um, again, I don't know. You, you you insert the blank there because, again, everybody's going to go into the conspiracy mode when it comes to this uh, console. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, conspiracy, my brother Big Mike decided to jump through. What's up, brother? I guess he's fixing his mic. <laughs> what up? What up? What up, brother? What's going on, everybody? What is up? Welcome. Not much chilling. Yeah. How's the legendary Blaze doing? Oh, no. Blaze is doing good. How's the uh, How's little Mike doing today? Little Mike's fantastic. My PC. Mike, where you been, bro? You you been MIA, bro? I haven't seen you around. He's like me, been lying man. low. Exactly, I've been lying low. Uh, my PC just fucking arrived today, so I'm fucking hyped. Oh, you got it his is? PC? In What'd you go? get? Okay. I got it from Digital Storm. I got a 2060 Super. Oh, like Digital Storm PCs okay. are fucking built like fucking. Tanks, bro. They're, they're nice PCs. Yeah, they're nice. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. He got his PC, so I guess you're going to see content creation for you uh, sometime exactly. in the future. All right. I'm about All to right. be PC Master Race. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ari? I see you, bro. Uh, All right. Well, uh, let's get, let me get your thoughts on this PS5 reveal. What's your thoughts, bro? I know a lot of you. I know you were hyped for it, and uh, they postponed oh, I, it. I was, I was super excited for it. I mm -hmm. mean, and I couldn't wait, you know, to see what you know what they had to show us because they've been super silent. Yeah. Uh. So you know, we just got to be patient, and I understand why they delayed it. I see a lot of people, you know, fanboys and whatnot, who were upset. You know, oh god, they had they have nothing to show because they delayed it again because of this stuff that's going out. What's because the stuff that's going on around with the world today. And yeah. I'm like, y'all, y'all need to fucking chill. I mean, <laughs> wake up. Look outside. What the fuck's going on? Yep. 
That's pretty it's, much it. That's literally it. I mean, just just look, open your window. <laughs> the, the the answer is right there in front of you. And exactly. uh, the the sad part is there's just no there's just no um, sign of anything calming down soon. That's the scary part. You know, it, it gets like it, like it just gets worse and worse every day. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, we went part. from we went from COVID mm-hmm. to this. Yeah. We're yep. still not out. We're still not other. You know, both of them still exist. That's exactly the yeah, people. <laughs> I think we uh, like there needs to be real change, bro. Because you know, doing all this rides, you know, like there needs to be real change, not a temporary change. And everybody's like, oh, you know, you know, this COVID's still going around, and you know, racism is still going around. So there needs exactly. to be change all around. And exactly. That's like I was yeah. telling the problem. Like I was telling uh, Ryan a couple days ago, I'm okay with you know the protesting, but this rioting and you know looting and stealing it's yeah it's gotta stop yeah it's that's, gotta that's, fucking that's not, stop that's pushing us back that's not pushing us forward the looting part exactly yeah it, i agree it, i agree with that absolutely <clears throat> i definitely agree there but again it's like when you're in the midst of uh chaos uh there's no controlling what's what's well, happening that's the that's the, yeah, the thing looting too. the chaos you know, the looting is you know people you know that you know, people are getting killed, you know, trying to protect their businesses, cops, yeah. you know, innocent people. The looting um, literally is is going backwards. Like there's yeah. like by getting stealing shoes, you know, for your boyfriend isn't helping anything. Nope. Yeah. You know, those, those are the ones who are not looking at it from the right, uh, you know. They're not looking at it from the right, obviously, angle. They're looking at it from, you know, how can they benefit, not necessarily how the world benefits. And again, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with stuck stuck on that because a lot of people want us to get right to gaming, and I did promise. So we're gonna we're just gonna move to gaming. But shout out to everybody in the chat. What's up, Chris? I see you, bro. Hit that like button. Shout out to everybody here. It's been a minute, but um, we back in here. So let's get into a deeper, let's get into a deeper story now uh, for you guys in the chat. And obviously, this story right here is is one in the headlines here. To, granted, we just went over one and that was in the headlines, but let's get into this one. Uh, Linus Tech Tips. So Linus Tech Tips has been on quite a bit of a tirade, or he's been on a tirade for a minute. And a lot of people came at a lot of channels that were talking about PS5, especially the SSD and how developers keep mentioning it in like uh, articles or interviews. A lot of people are really just praising the hell out of this PS5 and what they're doing with SSDs. Now, again, Linus Tech Tips, he's gone on record. He's even been on a podcast on his podcast, live on his channel. I think I think he has a podcast where he's just been live on his channel with interviews. And he's saying stuff like, yeah, um, (laughs) the PS5 is, uh, you know, this SSD is more powerful than the PS5 or more faster, blah, blah, blah. Uh, again, this is not necessarily to say that he's wrong or anything. There are SSDs out there. But the thing about uh, Linus, he actually misquoted Tim Sweeney uh, in his comments. What are you saying? Now, for those of you that remember Tim Sweeney's comment, he was saying, um, if I remember correctly, his comment for PS5 was that it was... Uh, Hold on, top of the line? He said top of the line SSD. And um, as soon as he said top of the line, I think Linus did a video and was like, oh, it's not the best in the world. That's bullshit. It's not the best ever existing, something, something. And uh, he took the, he actually had to do a video today and take the comment back. Again, yeah, best in class, best in class. Thank you, best in class. Best in class, what he said. And, um, you know, this man right here, Linus, he went on a tirade and said that this uh, SSD is not the best, or it's not the best in the world, quote unquote, because you know these SSDs can outdo it. He actually had to retract those statements today in a video. Again, I understand he's a PC dude. I actually do respect Linus. I do watch his channel. I watch a lot of his builds, like his uh, mineral oil PC. A lot of you probably looking at me like, "What the hell is a mineral oil?" Don't don't worry, I'm not going to explain it. But <laughs> he does a lot of cool builds on his channel. I'm a big fan of Linus, and so I can get, I understand where he's coming from, especially when you get the missing. Um, uh, misrepresentation of like you know what's going on here a lot of people like tend to spin stuff in articles or they'll like uh you know use different wording for articles to make it seem like you or know it's different and yeah, overreact to it exactly and i get it it happens but hey he owned up he said he was wrong he apologized for it no big deal is this going to be the end of a uh, ps5 related content for him no I'm pretty sure he's still going to be talking about PS5, and you know how that is. Uh, Forte, I don't know if you're free, but uh, jump in here, bro. But what did he say? What did he say? Hmm? That he said that the 
Well, he I called out like he he even he called out Tim Sweeney. He basically said some smart remarks to Tim Sweeney, like, "Hey, why do you feel like Tim Sweeney needs to get needs to lower himself by taking bribes from Sony, basically, and say outrageous stuff like, oh, this SSD is the best thing on the planet,' type of thing, and it's the fastest thing you can get, and basically, there's no PC that can match it." Blah blah blah, and it's like. Oh boy, you know, it's basically he was saying stuff like that, putting himself in a I hole. I mean, <laughs> usually, usually, if Linus says that this SSD is particularly better, then like the dude knows what he's talking about. But you know, yeah, he actually did go. He actually he had did pretty good with old Tim Sweeney. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it Tim Sweeney, Tim, the thing about Tim Sweeney, Tim Sweeney's uh, reactions to most of these tweets were kind of like. Uh, they weren't even over the top, like, you know, on Twitter, especially not like a lot of these developers, when you like say something to them on Twitter, they'll like uh, reply in like these long, um, like responses. His was pretty simple. It's like, it's already there. What you got is what you got from the Cerny reveal. That's what he said. And that was pretty much it. Like he didn't really go all out on his replies to uh, Linus, which was crazy. So that was crazy. But um, no, he retracted his statement. So, hey, <laughs> there's that. Uh, I guess it's off to whenever we get this PS5 event, and that way you'll get the full, uh, even more of the scope of what's going on with the first party and how these SSDs are going to work for PS5. Again, I'm seeing more people talk about SSDs instead of talking about the real difference. Yes, Sony's rocking a high SSD, but the big difference, keep telling you guys, we did a video on this, we did a podcast on this. The difference between PS5 and Series X is the PCIe controller in PlayStation 5. There you go. Is that the only difference? I thought it was the uh, the amount of games. Well, that, that are, too, uh, but I'm saying the, the real huge difference, like, and for people that don't understand it, because they're saying SSD is this when it's really the PCIe controller. Again, I know, 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 Twitter, I know. But <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. What's up, Billy? So, there you go. There you go. We broke that down. Simple. Uh, what's your thoughts on Linus, uh, Tech Tips? <laughs> yeah, Mike. Um, me, I don't... I, I can't say I don't trust him. I don't believe a word he's saying right now. That's just me. Uh, once we're going to get this SED, the people are going to know about it will be the, the people that have been working on it with the dev kits and the official Sony people. I'm yeah. tired of hearing this analyze these tech talk people who think they know everything. Mm. That's, I just I want to hear from the official mouth. I agree. Now. I agree. I definitely agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, it's just to me like uh, like conspiracy, right? With it, like, oh, but it can do this, but it can do that. It's like no, no, and no. <laughs> can we just like be realistic on what you're going to get here? But again, I know a lot of people then they go over the rails, especially when it comes to that precious, precious <coughs> ad revenue. But let's move on. Uh, <laughs> right, this is Dawn too, man. I know a lot of you are probably going around. Are you recycling topics? No, I'm not recycling damn topics. This game keeps being brought up left and right. Everywhere I go, Horizon Zero Dawn 2 keeps getting mentioned. And you know what's funny about the Horizon Zero Dawn 2? I honestly do think, I honestly do think that this game is going to be a... Day, like, not day one, but I should say day one. Obviously, it's day one, but I think it's going to be a launch game for PS5. If you guys remember, you guys go back to previous, a uh, few few podcasts back, they talked about Horizon Zero Dawn being the game to set the quote-unquote benchmark for PlayStation 5. If that is true, and that is what the way they're going about it, and the way they're really hyping this system up, or hyping this game up as being, like, the be-all, end-all, or the game to get, this is definitely more likely going to be in the launch category for them. Probably not their day one when the system launches but probably you know very similar to what we had for i would say what was that game maybe the order 1886 maybe close to the order 1886 only a little closer not necessarily far away like the order 1886 was but maybe in that in that realm for them for ps5 i think that might be the case for Rise of zero dawn 2 yeah probably like the well now i don't think first quarter fantastic yeah, I don't think first quarter. The game that's more likely first quarter. Well, actually, no, no, I can't even say first quarter for that game. Maybe last quarter it will be Spider Man Two. That's another one that's talked about for twenty twenty one. Is Spider Man Two? 
But, it, you know, honestly, by the time these games do launch, or by the time this console does launch, it probably will be in the first quarter. So, yeah, yeah, you might have, you might be on to something there. It might be in the first quarter. Um, what's your thoughts on this, man? Horizon Zero Dawn 2. <laughs> Me? I thought uh, before they delayed the, the PS5 announcement for uh, th this past Thursday, I think they were going to actually show Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, you know, some CGI, in-game engine stuff, you know what they do, you know how they do it. I yeah. think we're actually going to get a sneak peek that before they played everything. Yeah. And I and I think, like you said, it is either going to be a launch title for PS5 or it's going to be like maybe like early February, maybe March. We'll get it because yeah. they they've been working on, they've been working on this game probably at least three three years. Ago. At least, yeah, at least max, at least. Right. Absolutely, I can see that. Okay. I mean, Blaze, what's your thoughts? Uh, I mean, three years. I, mean, I, I hope. I hope it's a launch game. I just don't see it being a launch game. But I hope. I hope I'm wrong. I just. I don't want to see the difference between like PlayStation and these other companies. PlayStation is okay with letting these developers bake it in the oven just a little bit long. You just get that nice golden brown. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Like I don't want it to be rushed. So you don't want to be doughy and, and unfinished. <laughs> Bro, I don't want that. I don't yeah. care if it's going to be a I just take your time with it. Make the game good. Like, this is the thing. Like, I was arguing with some Xbox guys last night. And, you know, they're like, oh, well, what? You guys, so Horizon Zero Dawn 2 ain't a new IP anymore. And Spider-Man, the difference is you guys are on 6 and 7. We're on 2. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a sequel. <laughs> We're on number 2. You're on 7. Like, yeah. that's the difference. You're on a franchise. You know, on a sequel. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn, we already know. Like, Horizon Zero Dawn, period, right now on PlayStation and PlayStation 4 Pro with HDR and all that shit is incredible, bro. Like, like straight up. So, bro, it, your head is going to just, your, your head is going to explode when you see this shit. Your head is just going to explode. Try to take my word for it. You're going to be so fucking blown away that. <laughs> yeah. I can't even about tell it. you how good this game is going to be, bro. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. Trust me, my hype is not dropped at all. My excitement level has not dropped at all. Again, I'm just I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna do uh, for it for sure. Um, now let's see. This is another news story that came out here. Um, it was for Bloodborne. Now, oh, this is not Bloodborne two. This is not Bloodborne two. For those of you wondering, it's not Bloodborne two. It's Bloodborne one. It was a report going around that Bloodborne one. That's right. Bloodborne one was going to have, and I quote, a. <laughs> oh boy, this is this is this is why I love the internet, guys. I love the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all stay tuned for this. But Bloodborne one was going to have a remaster for PlayStation five. I saw that today. Um, a remaster for PS five. I mean, I I don't get it. <laughs> the reason you know, why I don't get it again, PS Five is backwards compat with PS Four titles, so it doesn't need a back. It doesn't need a remaster. It naturally will be better due to the games being enhanced. For yeah, PS5. you get a PS Five patch. They can put out a patch yeah, for patch Bloodborne. Is, yeah, and Bloodborne. Look, that Bloodborne's one of my favorite games of all time. Seriously, this gen and. The game need definitely needs a resolution bump, a frame rate bump, and some uh, some anti aliasing. Like that's just the facts. Bloodborne needs it. It's a yeah. shimmering yeah. mess. You know, when you play it on a sixty five inch television, it's it's just it shimmers all over the place. But yeah, no one can deny the art style of Bloodborne, man. Like that dark gothic. Yo, Bloodborne was so. I know people that went out and bought PS fours that weren't gonna do it, and they had to go buy it to play Bloodborne. And yep. Bloodborne, yeah, it is an old game. If it does come to PC, look, I just, just, can we get this straight? Like, every fucking week on Twitter, you guys are praying, literally, <laughs> to God. Praying to God. Like, please bring one of PlayStation's exclusives over to my PC platform. Please. You guys fucking pray for these exclusives. Yo, you guys talk shit, but then you want them on your platform. I don't get it. Which one is it? Either fucking keep oh, that energy and save PlayStation no. <laughs> as overrated exclusives, or which one is it? Or that you want them. Which one is it? Like, make up your mind, bro. If Bloodborne comes to PC, fine, cool. But stop talking shit about it. Oh, it was an overrated Souls game. But now, oh, I want it to PC. Like, get out of here. That's what you guys somebody do, put a Somebody Keep put an F in the chat for Death Singer. <laughs> <laughs> Death Singer is like Xbox, bro. They don't, they don't even know they're dead. quick, guy. He'd be quick. He'd be quick. Like, I'm an Xbox dude. But as soon as the game go to PC, oh, I'm getting that day one. 
Day one, yeah. yeah he I'm said, I'm, I'm, I'm buying Horizon. <laughs> Nobody said in the chat, I'm buying it. I'm buying Horizon. Get it day one. On PC, day one, but I'm not going to play it. I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah Horizon Zero Dawn was boring on PS5 or PS4 because the, the, what was he, what he said, the 30 FPS? But hey, you know what? Oh. I think it's going to be more ambitious on the PC. I'm like, huh? Oh, man. The same it's damn great. game. <laughs> <laughs> he became me weak when he said, "Shout the death shit." That man crazy. Like, that's, that's the homie. Oh, uh, look who decided Peter to Paul. jump in here and embrace us with his awesome presence. What's up, brother? What's up, nautical? Oh, awesome presence. Yeah, what? What's, what's my brother? Back? What is up? Uh, it's been a minute. Man, no, just just got through doing a, a full shift at the store. We opened to the public today, so oh, I feel like I nervous? just ran a marathon. Nervous at all today? No. Oh no, I was good, man. No, nah, good to see you, man. I'm glad everything's good. Uh, how's everything been? Good, man. Good, good, good. I'm um, just trying to digest all the stupid shit going on in the world right now. But other than that, no, well, man. Well, good. shit. Since you here, let me let me bring let me bring this topic back just for you because you already know. Uh, me, and you whoa, both. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, I thought I avoided some of these topics. What's up? What's up? Oh, uh, I was gonna go back to the, I was gonna go to one. I was gonna go right to this PS5 reveal. I know you were hyped like I was. I know you were looking forward to it. Oh, absolutely. What they were. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you already know. As soon as they said it's postponed, the conspiracy theories came out full fact again, and the, the, the ridiculousness came out. Right, right. And I'm like, uh, again, look out the window. That's the reason why they postponed the event. And again, more shows and more uh, companies are pulling out of events or canceling them or dedicating their precious pla their platforms basically to the cause. If that if that makes sense to it. Um, what's right. your what's your thoughts on PS5's reveal? I know you I know you're looking forward to it again like I am uh, and Sony did come out and say that they're going to be announcing it again soon. We just don't yep. know when it's going to do it. I know a lot of people are saying June 12th. Uh, again, June 12th, we're pretty close to June 12th, are we not? And there's no announcement for it, so I don't think June 12th right. is happening. More likely, they'll probably push it to July. Honestly. Oh Lord, please don't push it that long. I think they'll push it to July after Microsoft's event. I mean, unless they unless they truly just want to troll everybody and say, you know, <laughs> they they afraid of Microsoft again. I mean, that's the only reason they would do that. Yeah, true. I don't man. think they I, I don't think they in the business of, you know, withholding information that long. But I mean yeah. if they do, if they do, oh well that's a lot of but, opportunity uh, <laughs> for sure. Like right. money. No, or... So so my my thoughts, I was not surprised. Uh, I was actually at work when it hit Twitter, and I was like, "Huh, interesting." Well, surprised. I'm not surprised that happened. I was more surprised of the the <laughs> the level of vitriol that they were taking because of the because of the cancellation. And, and I get it. Yeah. And I'm and you know me, I'm a I I think real deeply on stuff like this. So when I saw it. Look, man, it's a lot of stuff going on in this world. You got COVID, you got you got, the, got the rice, you got all this stuff. I mean, all that stuff basically hit a fever pitch. And, you know, a lot of these companies are reacting. Um, yeah. For a good thing, for a good reason. Now, you mm -hmm. can now, for me, you can take that how you want to take it, because I'm looking at it as a situation where why is it it took all this to happen for all of these companies to step up and feel like they're quote unquote doing the right thing and i'm never going to take away the fact that hey it was the right decision for them to do this because it would have kind of been tone deaf and it would have yeah. been tone it, it, for a lot of people in the community if they would have did it they would have been like dude even if the event is great they're gonna be like dude this is tone deaf you know half the people that probably want to watch this aren't even paying attention to right. it just because of everything going Bad. on they're still they're Bad. still so, shell shocked yeah. so so they were kind of in a, a rock and a hard place. Do I would I have loved to see the reveal? Absolutely, oh, yeah, because yeah. Um, you know, just to see what the next generation for Xbox. I mean, Xbox. Jesus, we're, all, we're so Xbox used to Xbox. Have, <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to Xbox <laughs> doing stuff, and then Sony had this is the first time Sony had the chance of doing it. It's like, oh, finally got something from Sony, and I think that's probably a lot. Another reason why people were a little upset because this is the first time you were actually going to get a chance to see playstation games yeah. literally for the next generation um a lot of people and, and i dm'd a lot of people and it called some people that i know on twitter and i said dude please tell me this is your gamer side speaking i said because i understand if you're a gamer and you're upset about this because i'm upset about it i'm just not going to voice the shit on twitter in front facts, of everybody facts. and make it and, and, you know because i i had to literally think about it i was like look man this is more important things going on and I understand if you guys are upset about this stuff, but look, 
I don't care what the situation is. We need to take our gaming caps off and like literally pay way for stuff that's going on that's more important. Gosh. We waited over. I, I tweeted exactly this. I said we waited over a year and a half since they talked about that freaking SSD in a in a in a I think it was in a Bloomberg article back uh -huh. in February of last year. It might have been April of last year. Yeah. And Run we finally got a chance to see or get a chance to see what they were going to show us in games. And it got delayed. Okay, what's another two, three weeks? What's another month? It's not going to hurt us. The system's going to sell out regardless, so it doesn't really matter. That is true. Um, for Sony, it's more of a, hey, like um, Blaze said, you know, I just hope it isn't one of those tactics where we're basically just saying one thing and then we're going to do something different later on. Like right. EA actually came out and did something that I didn't expect them to do. They're donating over a million dollars to the causes and stuff. And they said, that's only the beginning. You know, there's been people that I was watching on um, YouTube and on Twitter talking about like the reason they didn't like it, uh, that they delayed it is because what are you going to do to make change better. You know, all you're doing is making a system unless you're telling me you're going out there to stand on the front line with, you know, brothers and sisters and talk about the things that need to be talked about. Mm -hmm. Why are we delaying a system? Now, if you came with that type of energy, I can understand why you're upset because you don't feel like it's a genuine move on their part. Right. But if you're just saying you hate it just because you were just, you know, selfish and trust right. me, there you just are a want bunch to see of selfish it you want to have out ammunition there. or you want to right. If you're using that, yeah. As yeah. If you're using the ammunition to say they're afraid of Xbox, and dude, trust me, I love. I'm an Xbox dude. I love Xbox, but nothing is more important than what's going on. Absolutely. If I, I wonder what would happen if Xbox was in this same situation and this same yep. thing happened, what would that conversation be? I try to always think about those little things in the back of my head because trust me, all the PlayStation people have a right to call us to the carpet yep if microsoft happens to go through this if this doesn't change in the next you know two to three weeks absolutely we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see what's going to happen then but look I, i'm happy that they did it i um i agreed with it um i just want to see long-term change when it comes to everything but when yes. it comes to the games i don't i didn't need this playstation event to tell me i wanted the playstation 5 i didn't need right. i didn't need I didn't need the PlayStation 4 event when they uh, talked about all the games and they showed off the controller for PlayStation 4. I was going to get my PlayStation 4. I bought it day one, not even knowing God of War was being announced. I, I told my wife day one, I said, I'm buying a PlayStation 4 because I know God of War is coming out. I don't know what the iteration of it's going to be. I'm a God of War fan. I'm getting it day one. I don't care what you say. Two, yeah. what, three, four years later, that's when they finally released the game. Mm -hmm. I know they're coming out with another God of War. They don't have to show it to me. I know it's coming. So I'm going to have a PS5 no matter what. Fact. So the event really didn't it didn't really bother me not seeing it. I just wanted to see it as a gamer and have that conversation with other gamers. But when gaming isn't the number one priority, all that gets put to the side. So yeah. um, I'm good with, a, with the way it happened. I just hate the way that our community literally acted during that time. It kind of showed me the yeah. true colors of a lot of people in this community. Which I, is unfortunate. Dude, I'm glad you said that. I, I was on a blocking uh, spree on Twitter in general, and I went dark on YouTube. I didn't make a video. I didn't say anything. I just been quiet. I, you know what I'm saying? I just been away from the internet in a way, you know? The right. closest I've been to inter the internet wise would be Discord. You can tell, you can ask Blaze. Like I, I'll be in the chat and we'll talk a few times, but that's really it. I haven't really did anything for the channel or uh, talking about the situation but when i see dudes say oh what's the next excuse oh they're scared i'm like huh i saw that shit i'm like huh <laughs> you know like who are you trying to right. who are you trying to fool type right. of thing you know who are you trying to fool who, who are you doing this for and that was the you know again so, man, I made my yeah, one shit. video on it. I, I, I watched a couple of people's videos in it, and I felt like at a certain point it was like, look, um, too many people are being quiet about everything going on, and me, and I feel like the best way I can direct change, at least for the people that follow me and watch my content, yeah. you know, I got to be consistent with the play, the person that I've always been. And like I said, I got to be like, dude, look, man, I, I love Xbox, but what y'all doing, uh, what y'all doing over here is completely wrong, man. You know, that's not the way that we're built as a gaming community. And if you are built that way, are you truly part of this community? Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, so what you said, Porte, though, you said uh, going back, to, you know, you said, uh, you know, I'm buying a PS5 
well, I'm buying a PS4 because I knew God of War was coming. Like, yep. I just knew. And that's the difference. I'm trying, you know, like all jokes aside, like when, like, oh, well, what do you got? Well, what's PlayStation got now for new IPs? It's not the point. Like, you know, if you buy a PlayStation, they've proved it to you guys already now. Yeah. yeah. For, for two generations that if you buy a PlayStation, you're going to get quality exclusive new experiences. Microsoft's still going to give you quality exclusives, but are they going to give you that new memorable experience? Right. And, 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 I don't, and I don't want to sidetrack. I don't want to discount Microsoft on every because I feel the same way by Microsoft, not just as much. And right. it's mostly due to what you just said. They aren't giving us the new experience. But Halo has always been that thing for me that always gravitated me to Xbox being a huge first person. Yeah, you, you've been a fan. Like I, I always told the story of the reason I ended up being on the Xbox is because I went out and bought the uh, Voodoo 5000, well, I think it was 5600, when uh -huh. they announced it the year that Halo was supposed to be the card that was going to run it when they had it for a PC. I went out and bought that graphics card for that game. And then a year later at E3, that's when Microsoft announced that they bought Bungie and they were changing it to a first-person shooter. I I instantly was like, oh, I guess I got this graphics card just to play games on PC, but I'm buying an Xbox day one because that's something I was interested in. And ever since that moment, Halo has always been the thing that gravitated me to always saying I'm buying the next Xbox until this year. Now, I'm still more than likely still getting it because I then kind of transformed myself to just being more about the exclusive to just the friends I play with. And I have more friends on Xbox than anything. And I play a lot of third party games more than any third party games more than anything, too. And I play my first party stuff on Sony. So I know I'm getting the PlayStation no matter what. The deal for me is what's the cost reflect? If I can get all my friends to come to PC, I don't need an Xbox. But I do enjoy playing with those people. So if I have to have the next Xbox, I'm not going to play on an Xbox uh, One X because Big Cloud knows when that yeah. 3080 Ti come out, I'm gonna have that Bro, on day one. That 3080 Ti, I'm all about you're, not, new, you're not talking any. I'm console. all about new tech, <laughs> so I don't care. I can I can easily play on my Xbox One X, but if I have the ability you put to play on away. something better. I'm going to do it, even if it doesn't really you bet, kind you of benefit bet, what I'm doing. You better put two grand away. That's all I got to. Oh, I already have. Dude, <laughs> you know how much money they give me? I'm just no. Forte, what do you got for a graphics card? Oh, I got a 1080 Ti right now. All right, so you already have an Xbox One X. Oh yeah, I already have an Xbox One X right now, and I still have an Xbox One X. But like, I literally skipped the 2080 Ti just for the simple fact that. I, d I don't believe in a graphics card that is supposedly so much more powerful that literally the main feature of it tanks your frame rate by 20%. I'm good. Uh, yeah. I'll wait for the 3080 to come out to make that better. Facts. 2080 Ti is a beast, bro. Trust it me, is a use, beast. I don't it use ray tracing. I don't even really use ray tracing. It, it, it but, is that's, right now. That's, that's, but that makes a feature, the main feature, so you don't even use it. The main feature of your car, you don't even use. I'm yeah, not but, with that. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, but for pure brute power like yo i still i still out out frame any card out there unless oh, it's absolutely yeah. absolutely you know, and guess what that 3080 ti gonna do with ray tracing if they if they if this, my if this, boom, <laughs> that's what i'm talking about if they can fix ray tracing and it works like it's supposed to work on the 3080 i'm there oh y'all you gonna be look y'all gonna be looking side eyed if that works. is the case with this 38 I, I do hope they fix it because that's gonna be interesting to see um how they fix yeah, it but yeah. yeah, but that's the only reason. That's how I look at it and stuff. So, but PlayStation has earned that place in my bookshelf every year. I mean, well, not every year, but every time they release a new system. Yeah. Because I know what you're they're going to do something. And, and, and the fact that they reimagined God of War. Remember when we used to complain about there's no jump in the game? Yeah. I was one of those people like, dude, there's no jump in God of War. But until you played the game, you was like, dude, this game, I, I didn't even think about a jump yeah. button in that game when I was playing it. Same here. It's a journey. It was Freaking a journey. Incredible. You're on a journey, and you're just like you were stuck. That's on it. it. That's pretty much. And all what the they rest of these, and all the rest of this stuff is just you know a conversation that just happens in the ether because most people want to take their experiences and say your experiences, like my experience is what your experience is going to be. No, everybody has a different one, and it yeah. depends on what they digest and how they interact with that experience is what makes them the person they are. And I hate when people try to shoehorn their experience into your experience, which is yep. crazy to me. Uh, yeah, that's that that true. Shout out to uh, May Gamer um, 009. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the army. Make sure you hit that bell icon. It's like, like the so notifications. I, 
Me mean, personally, um, I already know I'm buying a PS5 because, you know, Spider-Man 2, God of War 2 is coming. Yeah, I'm I know. Zero, two. I'm I want to see Quantum. Like, I know a lot of people are probably upset with them, but I actually, actually want to see what uh, Quantum, uh, Quantum Dreams do. I want right. to see what their next game is going to look like. Because, you know, let's be real. <laughs> Detroit, uh, Forte, Detroit. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I want to see what the, what they do with their engine going forward. Oh, but, uh, yeah. That's going to be you, fire. So you were talking about Horizon. So you guys think Horizon is going to be, quote, unquote, launch, not launch title, they, but they probably keep, first and it's second gonna quarter. Be, it yeah, be- I think it's probably going to be in the realm. You know how, like, uh, close the Order 1886 uh-huh. Was remember how that how f- close that was to PS4's launch? I see that with Horizon Zero Dawn too. Yep. And the reason why I say that again, I know you might think I'm crazy. I don't blaze like nah. I think I it's like think three crazy. years. Just, they keep talking about it. Yeah, they 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 like to, they keep talking about this. And also, uh, it's been reported numerous times. They saying that that's the game that's going to set the benchmark for them numerous times. And everywhere we uh, go, it's literally this game never leaves the conversation. Like. It's everywhere I do. do. You, it's like more support. Do you need it. to set a benchmark at the beginning of the generation when it's already the benchmark is already being set by the system being released? Though, uh, you usually people don't, I, people don't think I, about I, it like is, that. Yeah, that's a good point. I usually look at it like this. You know, cause now you want to put your best foot forward and show the next gen leap. Oh, your best foot is set forward by putting a five at the end of it. So, so what happened? Well, what yeah. happened? What were you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, no, about, we, we, uh, no, he was, was going back to the to the order. I mean, the Horizon uh, Zero Dawn thing. Yeah. So, I, so the only reason I, I look, I don't, I, I know nothing about this. It's just for me. I hope it's a launch, like a, a launch year title. I yeah. doubt it will be because they're working on another game and i keep hearing more traction on the second game they're working on being the game that they're they're going to announce now that doesn't say they're not going to show it at um their v re- their reveal because they're very much known for showing games that are two three exactly four it years could be out. like a it can be like the what we saw for what was that game uh hellblade 2 for microsoft hellblade it can be like an engine right, game it, it, it could do yeah. something like that for them absolutely right so, so yeah i just i mean it has been three years I would think, if anything, if it is the release, it's not coming out this holiday. If it was the release, though, it would be middle of the year next year or towards the end of it at the earliest. Mm. I just think that they have another title that they've been working on, and I think that's the game that they're actually going to show off. Like they're actually going to show gameplay and showcase at the event. Yeah, um, because that's that's the that's the More thing, like that's the Metal the Gear Solid right now. The, the Metal, yeah, Metal Gear, Gear Solid, Solid whatever the hell the... it is. Yeah. I think Silent Hill is going to be the game that's going to shut down the show. And that's that's, what that's going probably to... it. That's probably the secret, secret like horse they're not that's they're not, they're, think, they're protecting yeah. because um I have an article. I'm not sure there was a truth of this, so I, I didn't I didn't include it in today's show. But it was saying that her um Haji, uh, Kojima's project was canceled. Some some can some project he was working on was canceled. So right. I, I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I do know that, that um he wanted to do uh there was reports going around that he wanted to do uh you know silent hill with them so again hard to really say again you know yeah, we I never really think, know in I this industry that's it's so easier around. big i just think that's a more impressive benchmark to hit it's just like resident evil when you saw resident evil remade it set oh, yeah. a benchmark for what you used to see because you gotta remember when's the last time you saw a silent hill game what remember what it used to look like yeah. Can you imagine a Silent Hill running on a PS5 with the graphical fidelity, the speed of that SSD, and everything that they can actually throw at you? Know, you? The funny more thing about zombies this? or more things on the screen at one time or whatever the hell's going I forget. It's been so long since I played yeah. a damn Silent Hill game. Just imagine the atmosphere they can produce <laughs> in a game like that. Bro, well, first of all, shout out to Danny. I see you in the chat, bro. Platform in the chat. But nah, you know what's funny? This is the perfect time, too, because, you know, they don't have that garbage uh, movie. <laughs> don't watch the oh, yeah, yeah, no. They need to stop doing it. There's only been one movie that was good that was based on a <laughs> video game character, and that was Sonic. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, actually agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sonic is good, bro. It was like legit. Really that was legit. Good. It was pure comedy. It was pure, pure what, comedy. Well, I got a question about that. How do you think, because that movie would have been good even with a terrible looking Sonic. The no, the better looking nah. Sonic made the movie way Forte. better. Forte. Hold on. But the story no no no. I'm Did not you saying see that, that no. Sonic 
No, no, I'm not saying the Sonic didn't look horrible. No, the Sonic looked horrible. I'm just oh. saying just the minutia of just the story itself. Like, if they had the same exact story, the story, not even thinking about who Sonic was, was amazing. I love how they integrated everything with the with the with the game into the actual movie, like the way they used the coins and everything, yeah. um, his abilities and everything, how they made it like they Man, brought it super to a Sonic big at the end. And made yeah. it really good. Now Sonic looking terrible would have just turned a lot of people off. They would have just been like, dude, that, that movie was terrible. <laughs> but for me, I, I, I sat there and watched the movie. I was like, dude, this was a good movie no matter what. But mm. they just made it better because they went back and fixed the problem that everybody had, which was Sonic looked like a freak. And I don't know what the hell he looked like. It was not Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but I'm I glad mean, they fixed it. Yeah. I nerded out a I'm, no spoilers if you didn't see it, but the very end of it, I nerded out because that's my favorite character in Sonic. And I was like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah, they already yeah. confirmed it. I Jan did that they're Bro. working on part two. Yeah, oh, I can't was, wait. Yeah. I'm interested Sonic to see that because cool. they um they had Jim Car Jim Carrey. I think Jim, Jim Carrey doesn't get props. Like, he killed the role yeah, as Mr. That. Uh, oh, yeah. He killed that. Bro? Yeah, he killed His it. Really he killed it. phenomenal. Yeah, he phenomenal. killed it. He's still like the top of his class. I know a lot of people. He he was like what? He was in a lot of like not slander, but it was like a lot of um, weird stuff going on with him in his career. But he still he still got it. Yep. Like the dude still can improv like, like like no other character self. Yeah, and, and, and another character the best, and it it was nice to see the backstory of the character because that's pretty much what all that was with the backstory of uh, mm -hmm. Doctor Eggman, and it was good, man. My wife my wife watched. She said, "Now nah, Jim Carrey just got to get fat." <laughs> yeah. Gotta get fat. Somehow to get fat. They'll do that. They'll do that. Uh, he's in a mushroom world, and I think uh, they'll just add like a uh, fat suit to him in the sequel or something. They'll do that. <laughs> he right. looked really like the character. That was the, that was the that was the scary part. He looked exactly like the character at the end. Oh, very <laughs> absolutely. Exactly absolutely. Like him. So that was cool. Um. So all right. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Let's uh, let's get, let's get Yo, going. Can we hit that like button though? There's, yeah, there's 185. Saying, we, we, we got 185. Like let's get a hundred likes. I'm shocked. We only have 84. I'm the shot. I'm the saying. I'm I'm the saying. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let me move this out the way before we talked about this. Let's get into this design, this dev kit design. I know a lot of you hit me up off air about this. It's like Ryan. I know you. You're gonna talk about this at some point in time. What's going on now? For those of you wondering, there was a. I'm gonna combine two stories with this because um, this is kind of this kind of goes hand to hand. Obviously, foreign factor is a lot. Of, it's, it's definitely on a lot of people's minds, right? We saw Series X. We know it's what a tower. Well, according to many reports, PS5 is not going to be a tower, and instead, it's going to be more of a bulkier system. And <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be a bulkier system. And let me see here. Let me go back to the report. Hold on. It's going to be twice as big as a PS4 Pro, and it's going to be a bulkier system. And, of course, as soon as they put this report out here, um, they showed the uh, patent slash uh, breakdown of uh, the cooling system in this thing. And basically, it was the dev kit. They were showcasing the dev kit's uh, cooling system. The dev kit on the PS5 has six fans. Woo! That's a lot of fucking ventilation. Well, that's a lot of fans. Yeah, as long thing. as they can turn down the decibel levels on it, I'm good. That's a, <laughs> Yo, look, bro, we'll talk. That's a lot that's of fucking fans. That's my problem with my Spider-Man system. Thing sounds like an engine every time you take, you start it. Oh, bro, I got that. Um, So I got like yeah. a, you like the little piece. Like, I don't know if you got this for your PC. You like the little duster? Yeah. Like a little bit. I got me one of those, um, you know, rechargeable dusters. And mine has like the little vacuum on it too. I vacuum my PC all the time. And I did it with the console. I thought that was going to change a difference. It actually does change a difference a little bit. But it's like when you play a more demanding game on a PS4, that shit revs up to a point yeah, where it's like, it yeah. Ramps up. It cranks look, up. Sony everything. knows what market they're in, Ryan. Sony knows they want to make a con. Bro, if Sony, look, Microsoft's little tower that, that looks like SpongeBob got squeezed into a grill. <laughs> That's all cute and shit, but Sony knows what they're making. They're making a fucking console, bro. I don't look. I'm gonna have the Series X, but I it's just gonna look awkward. I don't even know if it, I'm looking at my entertainment center right now, right? And I don't yeah. even know if that shit's gonna fit sideways, horizontal. I, I don't know how much it's gonna look that. ugly so, uh, sideways. To be honest with you, a, console, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna put a, it don't matter what look. Just like put it I behind said, your Sony, feet. Doesn't matter. 
Yeah, it's gonna look weird sideways. I was I was actually questioning that design choice for uh, the tower. You know, when you turn it sideways, because the reason why you know, like the logo, you can't like adjust the logo like you could on yeah, PS3. Right. Yeah, it's, it's like painted on. That's the only weird weird way for the for the way that's gonna look. But it, it looks like they designed that with one way in the mind. That's you know the tower shape. You know, air rises up or heat rises up, but. Now, six fans for this damn dev kit they are showcasing. This. Now, again, I want everybody to definitely uh, quote me on this because this is usually how it usually works. Uh, obviously, dev kits differ from the, the system. You know, this is a bigger dev kit. Uh, when we get to the actual system, it's more likely going to be scaled down a bit, right? They got to make it look pretty to them uh, in all that case, you know, the final unit. But... Six fans. I don't know, man. Six six fans. That's uh yeah, I think that's overkill for this. Six fans. Probably not. <sighs> Probably not. You don't think so? Six fans overkill? Especially when they're talking yeah. about variable. I mean they they did they do say variable frequency for the system. I mean, we're, not, we're not looking at forty millimeter fans though. I mean, you know, what yeah. size are these? Yeah, good I point. Mean, like twelve. Yeah, but the, the, that's the problem. Like the bigger fans are less uh, less noisy. The smaller I, fans well, yeah, you right. are noisy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I barely hear the fans in my PC and I got six of them. Nah. I just hope that um honestly, I hope if I mean that is the case to going with six fans. I mean the way the dev kit looked again, uh, it's pretty it's not it's pretty uh straightforward. This dev kit, uh let me see. Let me put on screen. I don't get a problem with it. Like people making fun of it. I don't get a problem with it. I don't care. Look, I, look, at the end of the day, bro, is it can't get louder than a PS4 Pro. Yeah. They, they 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 can't beat that. There's so, no way. This is where this is where it's looking like, guys. The dev kit here. Um it's it's pretty substantial. I mean it's not it's not bad. It's not a bad look for the dev kit. So it's on the sides and everything. So yeah, it could very well. This could very well still be the shape. I keep saying that V shape more likely seems possible for this damn console. And it'll probably just make it look more futuristic. Two tone, maybe. Look, look at the controller, Ryan. Look at the controller, and you see that futuristic look. Yeah. Right? So that this this look. seems. You about already right, know it's so. gonna match. It's gonna yeah. match it, bro. It's gonna look beautiful, bro. It's gonna look the PS4, the launch PS4, is seriously the the ergonomics of it. It just looks so. It just looked like a a nice race car that was parked with yeah. a little wobble, but it looked fire, bro. It could very well be the case. I mean, they could do it. So I can just see somebody sitting a cup in the middle of that system. <laughs> 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 somebody kid, somebody kid go use it as a cup holder, bro. I see it now. Somebody gonna be mad. Buy buy a warranty. If you got kids, buy a warranty on your system. Just let you know. Yeah, yeah. I did see the whole. Yeah, there was, yeah. There was a new mock up for it too. Uh, the the mock ups again. Th that's the thing too. That's probably the 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 thing that's killing it too. The because a lot of people will see these mock ups and these mock ups get cooler and cooler and some get weird. For PS5, uh, like one was a tower. I know a lot of you guys seen that one, and it matched the controller. And then somebody made like this uh, real dope one. It was like a silver uh, with like blue accents and like a white uh, background. So, honestly, again, I'm not worried about how it looks, but <laughs> I'm not either. I, like I, I like the Series X look, but I just don't think it's more of a. It just don't have that traditional console feel like it's i'm used to like if you look at all the consoles going down the line they all have that you know what i mean they all they got that similar shape to it you know what i mean one yeah. you know, whether it looked like a vcr or not but it still had that rectangular shape yep. that uh it is what it is man i don't care how they look i just care how they perform honestly i rather have it more of a traditional well, you're gonna have uh, a very look, cool system then bub six fans you're gonna deal with it. you're gonna like it six fans i mean well, rgb Sitting right next yeah, to your, your, your um, sit next to your Google Home, it fit right in. What's your um, your Xbox? Oh, Series X. <laughs> it sit right next, dude. It's the same. I think I think that one's taller, but my um, modem from Comcast, my X Five modem, looks just like that. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not overly like uh, bulky at all for a uh, system. It's it's pretty good. It's a pretty. It's pretty nice size. But I ordered a twenty five. I ordered a high end like a couple like a year ago. I I, I did like one of the USB two point <laughs> um, Carl is uh, calling USB, you out. I mean, like USB, he said HDMI let, cables. Yeah. Uh, I ordered that one um, for a splitter that I was doing when I was capturing stuff on my Xbox. So I can literally put that. I'm gonna put the Xbox because it is gonna look weird sitting next to your TV because it's like yeah. this tower and it don't look like it fit there. 
I, I'm literally just going to run it and sit it next. It's going to be on my PC desk uh, on the other side of the room, and that HDMI cable will just reach over and yeah. do it that that shit look like I mean, a mini fridge, bro. No, that shit's really um, well, I mean, they use it as a refrigerator in a stream, so mm, yeah. <laughs> we're going back to that. I mean, what what are what what you know, I guess if, if Xbox executives <laughs> can say it looks like a mini fridge, well, why can't we just call it that? Carlos well, like said, said uh, uh, the Series X looks like a giant Glade Sense uh essentials oh, dispenser. <laughs> Lord, no. I it like close. It looks like, close. It does look like that, though. It's close. I, did you see the like the supposable um, design that they that J Dub tweeted out the one where it was like um, with yeah right it was at the reveal that was actually proven to be fake uh, it was it was photoshopped was, was it, it proven real? to be fake I said dude that was a really good looking Photoshop it looked legit it did look legit it looked you know what it looked like though and honestly and I was shocked that I was saying this I was getting those vibes it looked like a one X. It did. It looked exactly but like bigger. the One X. Yes, like a bulkier One X. Yeah, I was like, whoa. When, I was hearing, uh, huh. when they were talking about all of the dimensions and size, and they being double the size of like double the size of a PS4 Pro, I was like, dude, that system looks like that. Yes. Yeah. But that then I heard, true. yeah, you said it was debunked already. That sucks. Cause I actually liked the way that looked. Hmm. You were showing on that. I mean, I saw it. I was like, eh. I was just sitting there like if this is I was like if this was real I'll, yeah. I'll be happy with this because I was like the color scheme I was like okay it doesn't match the controller I was like that's def that's the first thing that made me think it was fake because I got a I got a sixty dollar bet with um with super villain about it and he keeps telling me that they're oh, gonna come out with a two -tone? different system I was like bro that's that system's either gonna be white. Or it's gonna be too tall. He's like, no, I man, they're gonna have a black system. Yeah. I was like, all right. I bro. think they're honestly gonna go with the eye candy approach. It's gonna have to be two toned, match it, it with the blue lights and everything. I do think that, like, an LED, unite you know, the blue LED strip that's on PS4 going across. I think that's gonna the carry over. Super villain said that because traditionally Sony has always showed off the silver one and all these colors. Like yeah. the and, shit. and then they that's always end up launching. That's on it is. He thinks that they're going to show off. He said they think they're going to show off a bunch of different colors, but he thinks they're going to still have the probably the two tone one, and they're going to have a traditional black one too. I say, like, uh, no, bro, they're not going to yeah. have that one at yeah. launch. I mean, you if you have a PC, then you think the Series X looks nice. Like if you if you have a PC, that's tower, true. Then that's there's true. There's no reason why you should hate on the Series X tower. Yeah, I, I definitely true. need to see this dual sense though. I wanted to see. I really was looking forward to that because um, I want to hold it. I do too. Yeah, I want to buy that. I think. Yo, I think you know they're going to release it early, Ryan. Gonna oh yeah, yeah they're going to do it. We're all like, we're all going to have like it like a early. week or two early. Yeah, we're how all much is it? It's going to be sixty dollars. You think it's going to be sixty? Yeah, that's what reports are going around sixty. They're not they're not pushing that seventy dollar price tag. I mean, they pushed sixty nine. They pushed uh, sixty four now. Yeah, so for uh, for what? Yeah, Do a shot for us? I can see that thing being seventy. I can see it being seventy. Uh, well. Seventy dollars? I don't know. That's kind of pushing. And you remember Xbox pushes seventy without a battery pack in it. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. That is true. So, I mean, I don't <clears> see <throat> 70, 70. and if Nintendo Switch <laughs> and supposedly this controller. I mean, it's not even supposedly. It's definitely is because the they only had the HD Rumble in the Joy Cons. This has a little has way more stuff going on, and they charge you eighty bucks for those controllers. Well, that's right? Nintendo. Yeah, it's Nintendo's it's like the only one that gets away with it though. They they can charge you damn near a hundred dollars for a standard oh, damn controller. Listen, mm -hmm. let's be for yeah. real. Let's be for real about Nintendo. They're the reason back. PlayStation, the reason PlayStation VR exists. Is because those controllers that were used on the on the move. Uh, the, move. the PlayStation Move was created because of that whole uh, move towards motion controllers. It was Wii, yeah. It was their it was their it was their successor to Wii, supposedly. It was and cool because I remember I bought it, but I didn't really use them. Yo, no, like, Forte, it don't, it don't exist because of that Forte. Bucks for them. Fifty yep. bucks each. Yep. Yeah, but Forte, you can't say that the VR exists because of the move control. You you can say that well, Sony VR, said, look. The move control would have made the VR. Well, okay, yeah, you're right. You can't say it exists because of that, but the V, but the motion controller, okay, so better off the motion controllers are there because of that. And they just. Right. Yo, yeah. Forte, look, check it out. Like, they, they, Sony said, look, we got all this inventory. We already have something with a light yeah. bar that. You know what I mean? So they just said, why not just use the same thing? Why spend more money? Yeah, they killed two birds with one stone. Pretty much. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Why, 
Yeah, that, that, yeah, you're right. That's a better choice of words right there. Yeah. Why? Why much. do you think Sony has no analog sticks on those motion controls? They they desperately need analog, like a little analog stick on those motion controls, because you got to turn if you have a VR controller for PS5 though. I yeah, yeah, yeah. new ones. Yeah. Yeah, but like the, the, you know, the motion controls are cool, but you got to use the stupid circle X and square to turn. You know, what I mean, if you're using the two motion controls, well, the nav, the nav controllers don't even work, do that. You can't even—they're not even compatible with PS5 or PS4, are they? Which ones? Which ones? The nav, the nav controller that you could—that was part of the motion controller package. The oh, other one, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the I analog stick, they're they're right. used on PS4. Yeah, right? you, yeah, you don't even use it because they don't have a light bar. There's nothing tracking. Yeah, you're right. So it doesn't have a light it. bar. Yeah. Mm, interesting. But that's what all they need to do, Forte. Is that that same nav controller just? Implement it yeah, into they, the uh, You're going to get a new the, one, honestly, Forte, from what I've been reading and from what's been oh, going around with it. Yeah, you're going to get an updated one when they do PSVR 2 for PS5. Right now, they're just doing four compatibility. So they're definitely going to do it. Oh, yeah. They're, they're not giving up on VR anytime soon because, you know, I mean, their biggest game, Horizon, I mean, not Horizon, um, Iron Man, is uh, got really, really well reviewed. So it's getting well reactions. Yeah. So yeah. Just be prepared to. 70 bucks for that controller at the minimum. That's for okay. the new one? Oh, you mean for the, uh, for the um, dual sense? For the dual sense, 70 bucks. Yeah. And that one, that's not too much. It's, to not, me, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a hard, I, it's not a hard dude, uh, stretch. Better than 180, right, Forte? <laughs> so what? Better than $180, right? He's talking oh, about Jesus. the Wii U. He's talking about the Wii U. Whoa, whoa, no, no, whoa, I'm not, talking about that, that Series X. That crap on the Series, um, Series Two controller. That thing, that thing is beautiful. I, I, I do have know, it. I own two of them. It does. I yeah. Oh, I, I have. Uh, I have the white one. I have the black one, and I have two of the. Bro, um, don't tell twos. me you buy an entity. So yeah, so y'all buy more of these. I know. I know. Blaze bought the first edition one. You buying the second one? I got the white, the black, and the second. And I, I actually yeah. had another second I one, and I, I gave it to Red. Two of the seconds. Yeah, I have two of those, and I gave one away. On how do y'all how do y'all buy into these? Like, I, I've seen. Listen, I've seen again. This is off topic, but I, I remember I seen Solid Rev report more issues with them damn controllers than they were worth the, the price tag. The <laughs> like that's crazy. They had so many issues, and the price tag is, is insane for those. Luca, remember Luca was having trouble with Gears of War uh, Forte when she was like putting on Twitter. She could like her controller was like <laughs> was was doing the motions for us. She wasn't even pressing uh, okay. anything. I'm just glad that I didn't have those issues, fortunately. <laughs> the first variant of the series, uh, the uh, Elite controller kind of broke down. It kind of wore down at the time. But the second one is USB-C. It's just a beautiful controller. I'm not hating, bro. You can tighten the analog yeah. sticks. It's oh, a great so controller. It's a okay. great yeah, controller. The only problem I had with the only thing I didn't like about version 2 was the the bigger paddles. I was so used to the version 1s. They're bigger. So I had to get used to like how much smaller they were. And uh, after I got to that, that was fine. I y'all never, still got dead zones though. Oh yeah, I never had the problem. With, yeah, I never had the problem with the uh, texture grip falling off the original one. That was something I never had a problem with. I always had a problem with the bumper. The left bumper always broke, Ooh. and then I, and then I literally got about what by my second one i never had another issue with it so by the time the white one came out i didn't have an issue i got my second or my third black one never had an issue with it since. and then i have two of the version twos and no issues with those so mm. I, love it. I was i was real against buying the version two until microsoft said that it's, it's compatible with the new system because i was like if this ain't compatible i'm not buying it Yo, but you know what, Forte, like, if you can tighten analog sticks, that helps. The, the You know the charging dock on my PC? I just throw it on the charging dock. It's slick, bro. It's a nice, it's a nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's expensive as fuck, but it's really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That controller doesn't die. That controller has the same battery as the um, the Wii Pro controller, the Switch Pro controller. Mm. 30 hours. Yeah. I, I yeah, don't, even the DualShock 3, that shit lasted a long fucking time. That's what, that's the, the only DualShock 3. Yeah, that's the only thing I need the dual sense controller to do is um, have better battery life. It, it, as long as it, if it can, dude, if that thing can give me fifteen hours, I'm happy. <laughs> Just don't right. get four to five. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Tim, fucking uh, fucking uh, um, Carl's right. like you were using those GameStop discounts on the Malik controllers. Absolutely right, Carl. <laughs> all day. Straight up getting them for what thirty, what forty dollars cheaper. 
You really? Thirty-four dollars cheaper? Are you fucking lucky I mean, bastard? I mean, buy them. Well, those those controllers always came out during um, the holiday, and during the holiday they give us an extended discount for like a ah. weekend. So I would just usually what I'll do is I'll wait to like stuff that I could wait on buying. I would just wait until that um, week kicks in where we get double discount, and I'll buy all that stuff then. I mean, knowing you, I know for a fact you probably just like, you, like, well, especially when you need one, you'll probably like just lock it away in the office. <laughs> you'll oh, I, it. It. I know you do this. I know you do this. Like, there's always, there's like, there's no way you guarantee to have everything right day one here like this. You just Listen, lock it there away. There is stuff locked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for that moment for waiting for some stupid discount or sale to happen where I can be doing unboxings. It. Like I can be, I'm surprised you haven't done this unboxing yet on your channel. Like I would just do no, the Ghost Tsushima unboxing yeah. and stuff. Forte, you're an Xbox guy, right? Absolutely. Hey, so well, I mean, I'm a yeah. gamer, but I, I prefer Xbox. But yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple things. One, I want to pray for you. What is uh, with these weirdos trying to spoil Last of Us too? You know, because I like read these guys. How, push. Thank you. How can you go to the Super Bowl every year? And get second place and still rep rep that team every year. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go to the Super Bowl every year and get second place. What are you talking about? We got titles. <laughs> got t- bro, you like the you like the Dallas Cowboys. You got titles we haven't won in ten years, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm, just whoa. Saying, I'm, not, I'm, not, yo, I'm not trying to come out of your head. I just wanted to whoa, throw that one. <laughs> oh, first of all, what team are we talking about here, sir? I'm Let's just make sure we are like, team like the Dallas Cowboys. You you, you guys about the you? Dallas Cowboys. Xbox, you haven't won in ten years. Oh, oh lord! <laughs> oh, you know what? Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay, now I get where you're coming. You know, because yeah. when some when you say when you said that, I literally thought you were talking about football for real. Oh no, no, I'm a pay, I'm a I'm in Boston, so I live in there every year, bro. I don't know what you're talking. About. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Patriots fan, but I live in Boston. Trust okay, me, I know. Got you. Got you. Go Tom Brady. Tom Brady going with the Super Bowl this year. Just let everybody know. Tampa but uh, yeah. oh, but uh, okay, you're talking about just how. Like I told you, man, my my idea of what Xbox is has completely transformed over the generations. It is not just because Xbox is. Um, it's not just because I just love Xbox that much. It's just that I've been on Xbox for so long. I just and I have so many friendships over there that. Those people mean more to me than the system itself. If I can get those people to go to another platform with me, I would. But if they, I'm not, I'm not going to put my, I'm not one of those people that's going to sit there and say, oh, well, if you don't want to get a PlayStation or play on PC, screw you. I'm not going to play with you. Yeah, I, I'm not I like that. So, so for me, it hurts when Xbox doesn't do what I want them to do because I'm a predominantly uh, Xbox um content creator so i hate having to make dumb like videos about the stuff that they're doing stupid versus having to just praise everything that they're doing because i want them to do better but for the most part this is something i think a lot of xbox people kind of just have to realize as of right now most people third party is their exclusives for xbox that's because when you you think about it the reason I bought an Xbox One X wasn't for first party. And all those people that kept complaining said, well, why did you buy your Xbox One X? You ain't getting no games from Microsoft that's going to that push the envelope. And guess what? If you look at it that way, you're absolutely right. But I always asked that person. I said, so let me ask you a question. Why did you buy your Xbox? Well, I bought yeah. it for this game and I bought it. I said, oh, so you didn't buy it for any particular first party game. You bought it for third party. Mm. So why are we complaining? You say I didn't get my money's worth out of it, but you technically did because the things that you bought it for, you played and you enjoyed. I told Ryan knows this. Yeah. Why did I buy an Xbox, Ryan? Destiny was yep. going to run at 4K on that system, yep. and I wanted to play Destiny at 4K, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not sacrificing to do that. Yep. Why would I buy a series? And, and me, Ash, and Luca, Sir Taz, we all talk about this. If Destiny does not run at 60 frames per second on the new Xbox, I'm not buying it. Literally not buying it if it doesn't because that's the game that I would buy it for and everything else is just a cherry on the top for me. I don't care about anything else. I can play on my PC right now at 4K Ultra settings, but if I can't enjoy the system I want to play on with my friends and get that same fidelity, I'm not buying it. I'm going to stick on my regular Are these friends really close to you? Which frames? The the ones on Xbox. Your hey, friends. What? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. 
shit. I'm willing to leave my brother, bro. If he wants to stay on Xbox, I'm willing to leave him, bro. Oh, well, no, well, get, <laughs> well, don't get it twisted. I do go on my PC, and, like, if I'm doing stuff that's first part, like, um... Like single player related, I don't mind going over to my PC and playing. Like I play a lot of games by myself on console, but there is a thing that really happens when you like. I realize this with Minecraft. Shout out to Minecraft Dungeons, people. That Dude. game is actually that game is actually pretty goddamn fun, especially if you're in a group of people that you actually like playing games with. So I, re I realized during that game how much I miss just being in a party. Talking to your friends and enjoying the same game that we're all playing. Because remember, last generation, Microsoft put in that institution where they said you could be in a party with somebody. They could be playing something completely different. It didn't matter. You could still be, you could still communicate all in the same party. I yeah. felt like that was kind of the end of party chat at its finest. Because when you had to be in this game with a person to play, that's when everybody was communicating more. Yeah. People were talking. The gaming was it like people paid attention more to the game they're playing versus just having random conversations in the party and take it how you will. If you, if you just want to sit in the party and talk to people, that's fine. That's cool. You know, but I yeah. use party chat to play games with people. Yo, it's, so funny, it's funny you said party chat. Discord saved PC game. Let's just keep that one. Oh, <laughs> that there was no Discord, game. there would be no. Yeah, absolutely. I get no credit for that statement. Thank you, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> Out the place. But trust me, Yo, PC play. gaming was mm -hmm. dead without Discord. Mm -hmm. Meaning the, the social, the social aspect. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Oh, I could hit people up on Skype. Get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who the hell uses Skype in 2020? Right. I don't even know what that is. Oh, what the fuck computer. is that? What is that shit? I Yo, thought you it was said a Minecraft call. Dungeons, bro. Man, that's funny, man. That game's God. good. That game is good, fun, dude. bro. Game is a lot of fun. That Come game on, is Mike. fun. You guys are better than Minecraft Dungeons is fun. Dude. Look, it has nothing to do it, about it just being Minecraft. It's fun. Exactly. Because me, personally, kind of like Forte is saying, I'm not a Minecraft fan at all. Like, Not at I, all. I can't get into the, the Minecraft scene. You know, I mean, awesome people out there in the community can build, like, you know, I saw t today, like, a Thanos billboard. <laughs> Spot on fucking perfect. I was like, dude, props to you, dude. But me, I can't get into that. I'm not that creative. But Minecraft Dungeons, dude, I jumped into that. That is fucking fun. Bro, I babe, mean, can you get me a bucket to throw up in, please? <laughs> I mean, if, 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 you like, if you like Diablo... Yep, that's the thing. I like Diablo. I like Diablo. Okay, like then, then try it. You'll like Minecraft Dungeons. It's exactly... Like it's, it. a, it's a Diablo Mike, clone. are you alright? Is that you talking or is that cool cat Terry? Terry! Come out! Nice, nah, Mike. Yeah. Nice, nah, Mike. No. <laughs> but yeah, if you like Diablo or any of the, that series, you're will, you going to like Minecraft Dungeon. Okay. Hey, shit. You know, what, is, what is it getting right now? What's his rating? It was like an 80 Metacritic? It was in the 70s. I don't know where the hell it was. Oh, okay. I don't care about the Metacritic. I don't give a fuck about the Metacritic. No, because I heard, uh, I heard wait, it was one of the top wait, sellers. Wait, wait, wait. It's like 70? number one. It's 70 something. I don't God, know. God, man. You Xbox line right up, bro. <laughs> oh my god, look at you. 70, bro. God, you can't fly right now, baby. You gotta tell me you never, you, you never enjoy the game. Well, I mean, it's actually fucking selling because I saw Benji put a tweet out today. Yeah, it's number it's, uh, one, like, like one on uh, Game Pass. <laughs> it's number one, yep. and like, um, it's number one on a lot of the platforms. It's selling really, really well. So it's just oh, good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Blaze, you telling me you never played, you never liked the game that was under an 80 Metacritic? Uh oh. Yo, I love Days Gone. Love days. There, there you go. See, I was like, days gone is good. Yeah, I was trying to tell you, man. See, y'all said days gone. You know, you know, he said days gone. Forte, you know what game I was going to say, bro? What? The Order eighteen eighty six. Right, that's Bye. way <laughs> under seventy. <laughs> that game, what? that gets woefully too short, but it was fun while it lasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blaze, you have Xbox Ultimate Game Pass, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Then right there, you, you can play it right now for free. I know that. My six year old's been begging me. Then do what you do. You yeah. have so do. Stick I got your six year old. Bond with him. Have some fun. 
Dude, my eight year old jumped in a party with me and um uh, me and slow mo and um and gaming <laughs> addict. It was ridiculous. We, we had a ball, bro. It's so fun. Gaming addict, you mean gaming tragic? Shout to shout to Sean. Sean crazy. He said uh he's like he risked you risked me uh hitting you with a pitch for it because uh, my uh parents and I use Skype. <laughs> <laughs> at the time, <laughs> again, I, 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 hey, listen, listen. To be honest with y'all, I don't know if y'all use it in the chat. I don't know who uses Skype. But let me tell you, I haven't heard of Skype being used in conversation for quite some time. Like it's literally oh, been man. done. <laughs> if I search for that, doesn't that come natively in Windows too? So it's there. Yeah, it's there, it's but there. I, I never really hear people like using it in flux. You know, like a bunch of people using it and like that. Carlos yeah. uh, said he platinum days gone. Salute. That's what's up. Nice. Congratulations, sir. Nice. The order the order is the easiest platinum you can probably get if you want. Yeah, right. I did that in like, what, four hours? <laughs> One sitting, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, let's, I'll uh, let's get into this last topic. I mean, we pretty much destroyed everything here. Uh, we, we knocked everything out. That's what I love about the show. We just, it naturally just goes through everything. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, so there's developers saying that the PS5, I know a lot of you wanted me to cover this, didn't do a video. I just, I've been, I sat back, but, um, developer called the PS5's architecture, uh, the best in console history. Uh, oh, that. Now, what uh, he, said? he said the architecture in the PS5 is the best in console history. Woo. Well, only time we'll already know how that, how that conversation probably would have looked like. <laughs> <laughs> just off of that uh basically to summarize this so i don't i don't want to come off blunt uh, it's basically going off the unreal 5 engine demo again how they're good using the ssd how they're uh, able to load assets this is the big ass this is the big um i suppose the asset this is the big advantage sony has with ps5 they're with their pcie controller they're able to load in more assets with ps5 and they're uh basically the way they're going about it the way they're doing it with their engine they had to refine the engine to run for ps five and they're saying that the way they're going about and how easy it is this could refine the way games are made for playstation 5 or really in console gaming in general and that's what they're saying that's the big uh jump for them and how well they've done it so again game production or game development is definitely cut in half for the most part we're looking at here and they're able to do more with the system so that's cool that's again that's cool that's what they're doing uh what's your guys thoughts on this again it's <laughs> Not really much shocking. It is what it is. I mean, I believe when I see it, I mean, that's what I'm going to say about it. <laughs> I mean, what can we say about it, really? I mean, they're saying, I mean, it's a dev, and it's just more speculation. Is it real? <laughs> do I really have to end the podcast with this every time? I'll have you keep asking me to do that to this day. <laughs> what? Nah, I'm going to end it like, nah. They asked me, like, do that do to, its day, to this oh, day. Fuck. Oh, oh, God, dude. Dude, this <laughs> day. I do it like that. I know. I just realized well, Craig not here. What the hell? Oh it's yeah, working. he had to work. The Messiah had uh, to work. Messiah. <laughs> so, I mean, the person that claims all his subjects and he doesn't know how to um, discipline them. I got you. I'm gonna always oh. hold that over that man's head. Always. <laughs> I was like, dude, you are the Messiah. You are the bringer of um, the bringer of love to Xbox, and you do not know how to. <laughs> Subject your people. Uh oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm all I'm all bad against them, man. We we, we a, have to do we gotta do oh. another uh we gotta do it on one of those other impromptu streams again. Just have uh, both because of you because they're, they're, they're fun as hell. We we have fun. We do impromptu streams and we just uh, do like one on one. So we're, we're gonna go back to those very soon. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. actually we're updating the uh we're upgrading the format. I will tell you off air we're we're upgrading a few things for the channel. So, but um no nah, real talk um anybody else have anything you want to add to to this whole thing uh, architecture no. It is um, like everybody said. It's like okay. I mean, I, at a certain point, I think most of these developers are just happy to be working on something that's different, and that mm, excitement leads to in their comment sections and stuff. Yeah. Um, because the biggest thing is, like, the thing is, yes, the SSD of the PlayStation is light years ahead of where we are. I mean, the fact that Linus came out and uh, and I love Linus. The fact that he came out and redacted pretty much everything he took out everything he said and apologized about it lets you know that 
he didn't even like look at that that Cerny interview because who really watched it? Nobody really watched. Everybody was like, "What the hell is this?" But the but that also was a detriment to the way that he took all that information in because yeah. he just took off a third party and and people talking on the outside, not looking at the source material himself. And um, the fact that he came out with that apology lets you know that yeah, they are doing something really special with the SSD um, that is going to not i won't say be game changing because i think the stuff that xbox can do can be done at the software level it's just not going to be as efficient as the playstation is going to do it because people keep saying the ssd is going to destroy what microsoft is doing i'm like no nah, it's, not it's how just SSDs like work. <laughs> PlayStation games perform and run better yeah. than they normally would where xbox games have to do something extra to get that same fidelity or not even fidelity but just say performance yeah. you know they can throw power at something but the thing with power is you make your system hotter everything overheats faster mm -hmm. i think that's probably why they had to go with the design they went to and uh, even then that doesn't promise that you're going to get the same performance that you're going to get on another system but both these systems are trying to get to the same place just by different, different means things. and different shortcuts that's yeah. basically so what it, these, it's really different shortcuts if I was to tell you if i was to tell you one thing if i was to say hey which one makes you more excited? Taking a, a archetype that you already know and just giving you more power, mm -hmm. or giving you an archetype that you already know but giving you a different way to use that power? Yep. Which they one give makes you, you more much excited? better results or similar results, and just give you a faster presentation? Honestly, I, I would go with that PS Five because that again, a, a lot of people would talk about the the demo that we saw. And they downplayed the demo. A lot of people were saying it, it, it can run on Series X. I'm like, I, I don't know how many trolls sent me the demo. It was like, yo, if this can run on Series I'm like, well, no shit. Who said it couldn't well, run on Series X? <laughs> why, why hasn't developers came out and said, wow, Series X? Is yeah, exactly. Cute. I was like, I just know, keep uh, hearing the same shit about no, PlayStation 5. It's like, no not, shit. Of course it can run on Series a X. Beauty pageant. It's a beauty pageant right yeah. now. PlayStation has something that these developers have never done, and mm -hmm. uh, Brain Up says the controller, not SSD. Yeah, I know what you mean by that. I just say <laughs> most people say SSD because most people won't even know what the hell the controller is. Yeah, the controller is the difference in between the two systems. Yep. Um, but the fact that um, most people don't know that you just just the they controller immediately is go off SSD, SSD and it's like they sound weird when they say yeah. SSD yeah. SSD. Yeah. It's They're really the PCIe the what. Forte, the yeah. PCIe, what PCIe controller. Four? What's that? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. So exactly. I think that's the reason people do that. But uh, for the most part, it's the beauty pageant, man. Everybody is allure and happy with being able to do something different. That old eye candy offering that to them, and they're yeah. talking glowingly about yeah. it compared to what Microsoft is giving them, which is pretty much saying, "Hey, here's headroom for you. Yeah. You can do." Or with what you already have, that's not exciting to people. That that just basically says, okay, we can we can we don't have to cut back on our vision. Mm. But now with the SSD and the controller, people have a reason to say maybe we can scope out our vision in a different way. It's giving them a different way to interact that they never interacted with a game. You know what, Forte? I, I agree with you on that point, but I also think the other point people are not talking about is Sony is is the type of since the PS4 the, it was in development. They went all. They went to all these. They traveled the world and went and spoke to all these developers and asked them what's what's important to you. What is important yeah. to you? What do you need? Yeah. How do you want this to be? And I think people downplay that. That Sony reached out to these developers, went and approached them, asked them what is your want in the next console. What what do you know? What can we do to make your life easier? And people downplay that aspect of it. But that's really where it's coming from. No, I yep. and I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think, think Sony's in a point now. I think the only thing that throws Sony off right now is just the messaging that Microsoft has been doing. Um, they didn't expect Microsoft to be this forthright with the information that they're giving with the system, be this like open with the way that it's being developed and what's going to be in the box. And I don't think they really expected them to come out with the amount of power that they have because the one thing we know about Microsoft, they have a piggy bank and yeah. Of any company, Microsoft so they blew it on the on the power just alone right. for for the system. Yeah, they can, yeah, so they can eat this a thing. Let's be for real. Price means everything. You know, yep. both these systems. I think PlayStation is going to come at three ninety nine. I do. Yeah. I think Xbox is going to come at four at five four four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. But of all both these systems, 
Microsoft, I can easily see dropping that price to three ninety nine and just eating money. If they want to be competitive, that's what they have to that's do. What, I say, that's what they're going to have to do. Yeah, they got. That's to, what they're going to have that's to do. If, if they want to um, series um, L or no, not series L, the series S, which is the Lockhart. Um, I'm, I'm tired to talk about that damn thing. I hear everybody like, we I keep, do, yeah, it, it's <laughs> always in the back burner because that's always the thing. Everybody keeps saying it's real. We keep hearing people say it's real. It's happening. It'll be shown soon. And COVID-19 ruined the plans or scheduling of it. But if that's the case, then if we don't see it at July Forte, it's safe oh, to it's say, not, you know, so it's safe to say that's that's more likely going to just be, you know, like what they did for Xbox 360 Slim. That's basically mm-hmm. going to be the Slim for Series X when after it, it launches yeah like after it launches that that's what's I gonna believe happen. it's a thing i just don't know if it's like from all the rumors and stuff i hear it's like, like day one you know skew with them yeah. well they're talking about a staggered release and i kind of i kind of like it because if especially if they could do it all in the calendar year because sony has already announced that they're going to be they're both going to be supply restrained they're yes. they're not going to have these systems are going to sell and you're not going to get extras but they yep. do have an opportunity during the holidays, if these systems release like in October and November, what are people going to buy between Thanksgiving and Christmas for their their families outside of uh, outside of uh, switches and stuff? I think Microsoft wants to get that serious that that um, that S out there, <laughs> that Lockhart. I Everybody think they want to get out there that window. Everybody heard you say they, Series L, so they're like laughing. <laughs> if they can do it, so. Yeah. It, it's a bunch of different ways that it can definitely benefit them. I also am in that camp that I feel like Xbox needs to release first because I think you want to make, you want to put the thought part, you want to put the uh, decision in the consumer's hand. Some people are very impulsive when they buy things. Yes. It's like, if I see a next gen system, that's going to play 90% of the games that I, I want to play anyway. Do I really care about the other 10%? Right. And that mostly goes to the people that play like NBA, Madden, Call of Duty, and stuff like that. Do you really do you really care? And if you have the option to get your hands on one of those systems, are you willing to say, I see this Xbox Series S sitting right here. I can buy it right now, or am I going to wait for PlayStation to come back and stop? Yeah. Most people are going to be like, it, I'm just going to buy it. And then whenever the PlayStation does come out, they'll still buy that too. But they're more likely to buy a PlayStation first and not even buy an Xbox. And that's what happened this generation. So Microsoft needs to get out first, start the conversation, make people make a decision and say, hey, I'm going to buy the Xbox that is available now. And I'm still going to buy my PlayStation later on, because if you let them buy that PlayStation first, it's a good chance they're not going to come over and buy an Xbox. Yeah. Good point. Hey, good point. I agree. Good point. Good show, man. Good point and good show. (laughs) <laughs> Shut your ass, <laughs> no, he, he, uh, uh, that's Forte though. He he breaks shit down. He'll he'll let it out. He'll tell oh, he breaks it down is. to the T. Bro. Yeah, he he tells did it out. You, that's the homie. Did, did you see the other news uh, that Benji tweeted about? What's up? Uh, last about Last of Us Two. Uh, what wow. about Benji? Yeah, Benji, Benji sells. Goes, Benji sells. Benji sells. Not Benji. He's, he's, oh, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Y'all talk about Benji. Bad. No, I'm talking Benji. Sells. I just call him Benji, but yeah, Benji sells. But on Twitter, uh, yeah. supposedly IGN, yeah, IGN Brazil said that uh, Last of Us Two has uh, surpassed in pre-orders God of War. What do y'all think? You think again, it's going to be again? Uh, we had I had two trolls in the chat. I'm thinking just one dude with a sock account. Uh, he tried to spoil the, the ending in the chat. I'm like, listen, I don't know what you think you're accomplishing, but you're not accomplishing any damn thing. This game is still being bought, sir. And that goes right, to anybody right. that has that same mindset that's trying to spoil it, take rumors or not rumors, but trying to take moments away from people. The game is going to be more likely game in this gen. Dude. A lot of people keep saying cyberpunk because they don't want to admit it. But here's the thing. Cyberpunk, y'all putting unnecessary pressure on cyberpunk, especially after one game that really blew up for them. That was Witcher 3. And you stop. Mm, I don't know. Say, I, I, Witcher 2 is pretty popular, too, though. Right? It's popular. Witcher, but Witcher, yeah. Witcher 3 was the one that really, I mean, you know. Yeah, Witcher, the 3, one that, yeah. Witcher 3, you know, showed, showed them off. But, I mean, Witcher 2 was good. Witcher three. I, mean, I, I can't really comment on the Witcher, PS4, so I'm kind of like in between a rock between hard hard place here because I, I can't comment on the Witcher. I haven't played the Witcher, so you haven't played the Witcher. I have not the played the Witcher. Hey, I'm about to take your gamer. I'm about to take your gamer card, dude. I, 
I have not Take it, Big Mike. Take it, bro. Take this problem. <laughs> Take my man. game? Oh, I mean, hey, Dude, you got people saying they beat it. They beat it on multiple platforms. You only have like five minutes in there. Let Yo, let's stop. get some let's S in see. chat for Ryan because he's a fraud. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Put him up. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, Ryan, Witcher 3 is the third best selling PS4 game of all time. I bet it is. I bet it did. Huh? He's going to. I bet it does, sir. Look at you. You're the only one putting an F in the chat. Look at you. No, nah, he ain't the only one. No, nah, no, nah, look. He's the only one putting F in the damn chat. Look at that shit. <laughs> counterproductive, sir. That's counterproductive. There it is. There's, there's Blaze. There's Rob. Oh, Lord. Yo, Here we go. $20 PSN cards for any Fs I see. <laughs> <laughs> the nah, nah, Ryan the homie, dog. The betrayal. Ryan is the homie, still. It's a twenty PSA cards. You haven't played Witcher three. I mean, you can get the game for like twenty five, maybe thirty bucks. Full complete game, all the expansions and everything. Cheaper than that. Cheaper than that. Man. And it dude, is cheaper than that. And you spent what two hundred hours? I mean, don't get me wrong. Death Stranding. You spent two hundred hours on Death Stranding, and you still haven't played Witcher three. Rob Jones with a two dollar F. Super chat. <laughs> oh shit! You know, that's a huge bitch. <laughs> Yo, that alert, that alert is so perfect for that super chat. Let me just say, uh, shout out to you, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. This show is uh, awesome. It's good to be back. Hang on, it's good to be back. I, I needed this. I needed this good vibe. I'm glad Forte came in, bro, because he had, brings that other ass. Like, you know, we're Sony guys, but he brings the other outlook. For, like, you might not be thinking that way, but he'll like. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just a different outlook. I mean, he's, he's trained. He's trained like that. He's on, like, 14 podcasts, you know? <laughs> yeah, but he's not, He's not like, a radical Xbox guy. He's, like, yeah. down to earth. Like, he understands. Like, he's level-headed Xbox guy. There's yeah. a difference. That's worth it for you, dog. That's worth it. I think Last of Us 2 is going to be the, the hugest PlayStation launch of them all. This is going to be the, the well, mother of them all. I've already spent, me alone, I don't know about y'all motherfuckers, I've already spent $400 on Last of Us for the game. To this day, to this day, they <laughs> won. To this day, to this I, I day. spent four dollars on this game already. <laughs> Ryan, what's day. the best? What's the best console out on the market right now? Duh. PC. Great. Great. Nah, I'll play. I'll play. <laughs> play. PlayStation. PS4. Play. Exactly. That's just your opinion. I just heard you click. I heard you just recording. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was, I was gonna hit him. With, I was gonna hit him with something, but he said the right answer, so I'm not gonna hit him. Look, he was gonna say days gone. <laughs> and, and let's be and let's be real. I mean, we know what PC gaming. P Xbox say PC gaming. Yeah. Uh, he said switch. <laughs> I mean switch. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, switch. <laughs> Switch, switch is definitely. If, if I if I didn't say PS4, uh yeah, switch definitely. If you can you can definitely say switch. You can argue switch for sure. Switch is fucking lit. Switch is doing ridiculous. What, what about switch? Why don't you? No, no, switch they, yet, he asked me what was the best system on this uh, this gen. I'm like, I said PS4, but you know you can argue switch. You can argue switch. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you can, can argue, argue the switch. switch. Look at look at Outer Worlds looking like a a pile of fucking soup. Dude, <laughs> I saw some pictures of that. That shit looks fucking spooky. There it does. The thing it's is, not, though, here's a creepy, here's the scary part. That game's still going to sell. It'll probably sell, yeah. I doubt it. I doubt it. Nah. Nah, they're going to buy it. That's what they're going to buy Fucking Witcher 3 sold pretty darn good on the Switch. It did. It, yeah, did. Yeah. it did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people people out there wanted the, the portability for the Switch. I want to take a shit and play games, man. Please. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, dude, bring back the, the number one vibes. selling game I think right now on uh, is on the Switch. It's fucking Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, is fucking, yeah. Animal Crossing, is fucking lit. You're it's right. Lit. Yeah, it's fucking lit, dude. I love it. Hang on. <laughs> oh lord, here we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Look, I know. I got. I got 400 hours into that game right now. Oh, my Lord. girl plays it now. I bought it. I completely moved my island around like four times on that game, so I can't lie. My girl's addicted to a forte, like addicted. To it. Oh, it's, I love it. Good man, it's it's shout fun. To, shout out to it's, Eagles fan seventy six. I see you, fam. Good to see you, bro. Glad and it released well. For, hope everything's well for you. And you can't you can't lie there, Blaze. It released at exact the right time when we when that COVID hit us. It released exactly yeah, the right yeah. time. Yeah, it was good. It was good market. But what I'm saying is, like, has it really 
evolved. It's still 30 FPS. It's you know, it's just like ah, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like give it another that game give another two years. Ah. I mean, Dendo's always you know two steps behind. Tech. Two steps? You mean like three? Nintendo don't put none of their games on sale. Game third party games come out a year later at full dude. price. It's like, come on, man. It's cause they fucking sell, dude. That's why. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, it's, it's gents, like PlayStation game. It's like the PlayStation games. They fucking sell. Yeah, yeah. but they go yo, God of War is fifteen dollars right now, bro. I know. You, and look at Mario Odyssey, for example, it's still fifty dollars. Legend of Zelda still sixty dollars. Still sixty bucks. Yeah, on, I'm literally Kart. getting ready to copy. Uh, I'm gonna copy uh, meds and just uh, give me a hack switch and <laughs> have fun <Facts>. with that. <laughs> real talk, it's like the only way around it at this point and get it. But now, nah, real talk, man, this show was uh, fire. Let me tell you, I had fun. Needed this. Needed some good vibes, especially in this uh, time. What's up, Halo Storm? I needed this though. It was definitely uh, much needed. I know a lot of you missed. Uh, me here on the mic, I just been lying low, guys. I haven't dropped no content, haven't dropped anything. I, I stayed away from YouTube and, and the whole social media aspect for the most part. But um, before I close this down, yeah, before I close this uh, down and let everybody do their outro, I just want to say, yo, real talk, shout out to everybody here who came through. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the show. I want to say, be safe to all of you out here, really, be safe and just, um, yeah. To, you know, enjoy your day, man. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Always a pleasure every Friday. Glad you guys enjoy your show or this show. And um, thank you guys again. I do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and do these outros. Uh, my homie from the platform live. Real, you know, I call him homie on air. But that's, that's really my brother, Mr. Uh, Big Mike. What's up, bro? I want to tell him to find you. Yo, you can find me on Twitter at Big Mike 47 You can check out the platform podcast on Twitch. At twitch.tv slash the platform podcast. We just had an amazing interview last week. We had Britt Barron, the voice of Tifa, on air. And you can also see it on YouTube if you want to catch the VOD. Absolutely. Platform live. Definitely go check that out. That, that, that interview was lit. <laughs> uh, what was it? Primetime? Primetime. Like, look, like he couldn't stop staring. I was like, dog, why are you looking at the camera like that? So it was funny. So. <laughs> it was funny. So. All right. uh, obviously, my brother, Forte. What's up, bro? Man, tell me to find you. He killed it as always. He always brings that oh, knowledge. Yo, it's you got nice be. thumbnails, man. I'm looking at your channel. You got nice thumbnails too, bro. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, put put a lot of time in those thumbnails. They the right. evolution you bomb a, over you the, bomb a drink the, first, sir. Red, the evolution of the last like two months has been crazy. But yeah, gaming forte everywhere, YouTube and Twitter. Um, check us out on. Uh, actually, about to go get something to drink and eat because we got Crossfire starting up in literally 15 minutes. So, oh, um, if so you're so down for that type yelling. of stuff, come over there and check it out on Mooch's channel. You coming through, Ryan? Uh, probably. Yeah, I'll probably come through. If you probably. Need you All right, yeah. cool. Um, outside of that, man, um, Ash and Luca, she put up a really good video today. She did a live stream. Yeah. Um, she did uh, about accountability. That's my mother. I love that girl to death. So go check out her video on that. Um, and then check out Scumcast tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Um, EST and uh, see what she got to say about all the stuff that's going on in the gaming industry with uh, slow mo backslap and everybody else. Outside of that, man, it's been a great time. Not on here enough, man. I gotta make sure I get on here more, but it's uh, well, always good to be a, part of RGS. The door is always open. I said, door is always open. Just jump in. If you can make it, jump, oh, absolutely. jump, jump on in here. I don't, don't, you don't even have to ask. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Just swing on through. Um, absolutely. Shout out to Luca. I didn't even get a chance to fully watch it because I did, uh, it was Breakfast with Boom when she did it. Uh, but nah, right. it's like, I heard she she legit killed it. So shout oh, she out to killed her. It. She yeah. killed it. Shout out to her. Again, I didn't want to make the show about a certain individual because you already know Forte, uh, that person. But I just I didn't oh, want to yeah, do I know. it. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure she knocked that out the way too. And you know, it's it is what it is. But I know she I know she knocked out the way. Uh Rob Jones dropped the two two dollars super he said Forte it's canceled. It's next week now. Oh, she canceled it? I'm guessing, sweetie. Or she probably did. Him. Knowing Luca, the, the, the state's back open, so she's probably getting her hair done tomorrow. So you never know. <laughs> be her, her, her hair is only an inch and a half long, but you know, I mean, what oh lord, now the see, 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 <laughs> see. I ain't say that when Luca hears this, I, I ain't a privy to that information. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Trying I, to say her hair, are you trying to say her hair is long? It's taller than her. Is that what you're saying? It pretty much is down to oh, her damn, no. her damn ankles. <laughs> 
pretty long. She got oh, long Lord. Hair. She, got hair. she got that hair oh, from, uh, what was it, Sekiro? Oh, Lord. She got the Sekiro hair. <laughs> nah, Luca's a, uh, she's a um, outspoken individual. She, I, 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 always I love, love Luca. Uh, that's yeah, dope. I like Luca, too. Oh, man. He says she shaved down to us a kitty. Okay, let me move on. Yeah, Gracie. <laughs> the chat. Uh, please, go ahead, man. I don't want to find you, bro. Oh, you said Crossfire. Bro. He means Crossfire Forte. Yeah, yeah you can find me at Blaze 4K YouTube, Blaze 4K Twitter. I, I want to say something, Forte, real quick about you. I was What's in that? Iron Lord's uh, Discord last night. It was like me and Cognito gaming mm-hmm. at it. It was like 5 in the morning. Yo, whenever I talk to Cognito, bro, like the time Apple flies times. by. It was 5 in the morning. Absolutely. And I just want to say about you, bro, they, they spoke highly of you. Bro, I really didn't even know that you had a YouTube channel like that. I just subbed to you. Oh, thanks. Um, I didn't even really know you. I, bro, I swear to God. Like, I seen you in podcasts, but I didn't think you even had a channel, bro. I, that's crazy to me. But I just look at your thumbnails. I'm like, God. Because I look at Ryan's thumbnails. I'm like, damn, Ryan, your thumbnails are fucking fire. Like, you guys just do great jobs with the little Photoshop. I need to learn that. But, um. Oh, uh, uh, man. You just don't realize how much how much time I, went into learning to do that. <laughs> I learned, bro, it's I tough, learned huh? a few It's tips. worth it, though. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's, it's fun. I have fun with, like, this thumbnail. <laughs> I ain't have time to really make it make it like that, but I just put it together. This took me, like, what, 12 minutes uh, this right here? But I learned, uh, to give it a little hint, I learned from one of the best. I learned from Dealer Gaming, so shout out to Dealer Gaming. Absolutely, yeah. One of the best. One of the but, best. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that, show, man. Mike. Forte, bro, nah, for real. I, 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 I look at your channel, bro. You, yo, everybody in this chat should be go check out Forte, bro. Like, I, I just look at his channel, bro, and he, he just deserves way more traction. That's all I'm Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. So, oh, man. good show, Big Mike. Go follow, uh, Big Mike. He's, he's my, he's my big, uh, Michelin <laughs> man brother. I love him. All right, and that's it. I love here, man. I love your shout out to everybody in the chat. This is episode 117. Uh, man, awesome. Time went by. I'm glad everybody had a good time. That's what I aimed to do. And I'm glad everybody enjoyed themselves and at least had fun. That's what we're all about here, yeah? That's what game is about, yeah? Fun. So glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys be safe. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. This is Big Cloud Gaming. We are definitely signing out. We'll see you next week, same time. Y'all be blessed, man.